Greetings, YouTube. So last night, my wife and I caught the 2010 version of the film True Grit, starring Jeff Bridges. And recently I reviewed the Tron le uh, Legacy film, and I said in it that I had been disappointed that there were far better Jeff Bridges movies out there to watch, and you should go watch them. Well, this one, True Grit, would be one of the films I was referencing when I reviewed Tron Legacy. Because this is an excellent film. I'm telling you right up front, this is one of the better westerns I have seen in a very long time. And I do enjoy a good western. The tone of this film, the pacing, the shot, where the shots are blocked, the scenes are set up, the lighting, the texture of the film, the way it almost has a sepia tone to it, it it really came across to me as a 19th century film. Yes, there are anachronisms. I, I guess apparently one of the buildings that she, in, the, in, the, in the opening scene is constructed in a way that wasn't used in the 19th century. But uh, frankly, it didn't detract from this at all. I am not an architect. I am not a student of building design. Um, so I did not care that this building was not perfectly uh, authentic to the 19th century or the latter half of the 19th century. Um, but I was just immersed in this in a way that is rare for films today. Even even uh, films that are set in the modern era where, you know, it's this the world I live in every day don't pull me in as completely as this film did. And I think well, part of it was that, of course, the the acting, the, the, these people really lived in their roles, with one minor, one minor exception. Um, but I, I think for me, one of the reasons that it really worked so well was the style of the language itself. It felt and sounded 19th century. The language these people used, the terms, um, it just it felt very authentic. Because I, I have read. 19th century books, you know, books that were written in the 19th century. Um, so it, it had a, a, a very um, real linguistic element, tone to it, which I really appreciated. Now the one role I felt that was slightly off as far as the person playing it was Matt Damon. Not to dismiss Matt Damon's role, he did an excellent job. But I think in some ways he was too much of a star for this role. He, my wife my, my felt the same way. It's almost like you were, you, you, it pulled you out a little because you were looking at Matt Damon on the screen. Whereas when I'm watching Rooster Cogburn or Maddie, I'm watching Rooster Cogburn or Maddie. I wasn't looking at the actor so much. Jeff Bridges really delivered this character to me. You know, he completely pulled himself into that. I believed him to be Rooster Cogburn. Um, but Matt Damon. He was almost too pretty in some ways. He wasn't aged quite enough for that role. Maybe in ten years he would have been better in this role today. Or an actor that had a little more texture to his face maybe would have been a better choice. Though I couldn't tell you which actor would be the best one. I, I thought about it on the way home and I couldn't think of who I would pick. Um, you know, Again, maybe it would have been better off if, we, if they had chosen someone who was not known. Like, I didn't know who the actress that played Maddie was before this film. Maybe they would have been better off having someone play the, the Labeef's character who was less well known. But that was the only detraction for this. It was just such a pleasure to, to watch these actors work on that screen. Um, and the ending, and I'm not going to spoil it for you, but the ending wasn't Hollywood. The ending had a feel and a weight of authenticity to it that I really appreciated. Um, it also looked very uh, accurate as far as the, uh, the style of clothing and the style of construction of some of the uh, rougher um, buildings in the territories. Um, of course, the weapons were very well done. They did an excellent job of researching the technology that was used at the time. You know, these are all this is post uh, Civil War, the, the guns that were available, and the people felt they looked very comfortable holding their weapons. There, there wasn't any. Situations where it kind of looked like I'm like, why is that person holding that gun that way? Or again, you know, that person doesn't look like they know what they're doing. They did a very good job of making people look as though they were very comfortable with their firearms. 
um, and see and and seeing that kind of accuracy and the style that they used them in was refreshing. Uh, again, I'm, I'm a weapons buff, so when I see things done like this well, it adds that little extra for me. It, it, it gives it a little more depth. So I definitely, if you are a fan of westerns or you are a fan of uh, Jeff Bridges, this is a must-see. There's no argument. You're going to want to watch this movie. Now, I freely admit, I, I've seen uh, the original True Grip by John Wayne, but it has been so long, I can't really compare the two movies. The only scene I really remember is near the end when he's you know, charging across a field. And that's the only scene that really sticks in my mind, and the rest of the film is kind of blank. I don't remember much about it. Um, I just did a little reading up on it just before doing this video, and apparently John Wayne wasn't happy with his role that much, and he wasn't happy with a number of the actors that were in it with him. Um, he had would have preferred other people to play um, certain characters, and he, he really wanted to have the character of Maddie played by a different actress. Um, and, I, and also the time period it was set in, I mean like the time it was set in, when it was filmed in 69 or it was released in 69, it was, uh, it didn't have that same level of, of authenticity, they weren't able to pull it off. And at the time no one seemed to care, westerns were still viewed in a very almost cartoon fashion, whereas today they're much more realistic. And I think a, a Clint Eastwood has a lot to do with that. I think the way he has delivered Westerns to the American, to the world audience, um, has shown that making them look real and textured and fully, uh, full-fledged depth to them is uh, what the audience wants. So, I'm going to watch through it again. i gotta, I got to get a copy of the original so I can compare the two. I definitely suggest you go see this to Jeff Bridges' version in this movie. It's well worth your time. Uh, my wife and I both loved it.